Hi, I'm senior playologist John Ireton with an introduction to a fast and frenzied math game in Simply Fun's line of educational products. It's called Mathed Potatoes. Yes, you heard me right, Mathed. This is a perfect math game for upper elementary kids working on problem solving skills and practicing basic math involving plus and minus. It's designed for two to four players ages eight and up, but works well for teams of players as well. The game comes with 60 math challenge cards, four spud cups, and a set of dice for each player. There are basic number dice as well as special operator dice that show plus and minus signs. It also includes a game board shaped like an M and pawns that resemble tiny sacks of potatoes. Math Potatoes is made up of several small math challenges. Each one is an opportunity to work on problem solving, especially math problems using plus and minus. Some challenges use the concepts of less than or greater than, and every time there's a group challenge, players want to quickly be the first to find a solution. Here's how to roll your dice. Always use a spud cup. Put the dice into the open end of the cup, cover it with your hand, and shake. You get to decide what order to put your dice to solve the current challenge. 1 plus 5 minus 6 equals 0. 1 plus 6 minus 5 equals 2. 5 plus 6 minus 1 equals 10. You get the idea. If you need to reroll, you may pick up all your dice or set aside some to preserve their values. On future rerolls, you can change your mind and put any dice back into the cup, even starting over. Okay, let's play Math Potatoes. In this game, there is no starting player. Since the game starts on a hot potato space, everyone participates in the first challenge. Turn over the top card and all players race at once to see who can complete it first. Whoever wins this challenge rolls one die and moves ahead that many spaces as their reward. Future challenges might be group activities or need to be completed alone. Here are some examples of what you might face. A total greater than, less than, or equal to a target number. A total that's odd or even. Or for max, everyone rolls at once and the highest wins. When the leading player passes one of the ketchup packets on the game board, all other players may advance to the catch up space behind this player. Players who are already past this space do not move backward. This game element prevents players from falling too far behind and keeps the game moving. The first player to reach the final space on the game board is a sweet potato and wins the game. When teaching this game to new people, act as the game show host and keep the game moving. Turn over cards for the group, announce the next challenge aloud, make sure everyone's clear if it's a hot potato or who's performing the challenge alone. Just generally keep things flowing so the game doesn't feel chaotic. Math Potatoes is definitely my kind of math game where the math is simple, everyone is involved in the action, and we all get a chance to shine.